Wideford Hill, Chambered Cairn, near Kirkwall, on Orkney mainland, Scotland. On mainland Orkney, two miles west of Kirkwall, on the old Finstown Road, is Wideford Hill, Chambered Tomb, a Neolithic site dated to 3100 BC, which was rediscovered in the 19th century by a few local boys. The cairn is in the care of Historic Environment Scotland. The small car park has stunning elevated views over Kirkwall. A half mile walk over Whiteford Hill on a rough muddy path takes you to the tomb. There is beautiful scenery of the Orkney landscape including the two islands of Home of Grimbister and Damsey on the Bay of Firth. A sharp eye will make out the similar Colleen Hill Cairn. Whiteford Hill is blanketed by heather and many animals thrive on the terrain, including the Orkney Vole. This animal was brought to the island by seafarers from the Neolithic era. Whiteford Hill is less visited, but just one of Orkney's very impressive prehistoric sites. Filming inside the chamber proved very difficult with the confined space and further obstruction of the entrance ladder in the middle of the tomb. Our ancient ancestors constructed the tomb on a man-made levelled off base. This was dug into the hillside and is a fine construction, still in remarkable condition after five millennia. This is testament to the major engineering and multi-skilled work by prehistoric people. The architectural style is reminiscent of Mays Howe. The site is now entered through a sliding hatch in the modern roof. Ladders go down into the main 3 metre high corbelled chamber, which narrows upwards. Originally the main compartment was entered by a very awkward low passage, 5.5 metres long, which is illuminated by the setting sun in late February. At ground level, three small subsidiary cells or chambers branch off from the main compartment. On the inside wall of the main chamber is rare Neolithic scratch art from 3000 BC. Similar marks are found at Scarabre. A few of these ancient designs have been damaged by modern graffiti. On the site's first excavation in 1849 by George Petrie, an antiquarian, the main chamber was two-thirds filled with rubble. The site had been intentionally filled in after its construction. The cairn had been previously plundered and robbed. Human remains were not found, however animal bone and teeth were uncovered. Howard Cobride Jones excavated in 1935 and following this the site was reconstructed to reveal the circular three concentric ring step design. Remnants of a settlement was found during excavation at the bottom of Whiteford Hill. This settlement is likely contemporary with the tomb. This suggests a relationship. The site may have served as some kind of ceremonial building for the settlement below. The original function or likely multifunctional use of the site is long, long lost to us. A few theories are ceremony, ritual, initiation, meditation, a womb tomb into Mother Earth and contacting the ancestors. Orkney's new Stone Age inhabitants would have crouched down on their knees to enter the pitch black tunnel and made a journey from daylight to the darkness of the central and offshoot chambers for a long lost Neolithic ceremony, perhaps conducted by the local shaman. Please consider becoming a Patreon to support my work. Please subscribe and join the Facebook group. Leave a comment for a personal reply. Thanks for watching and a big thanks to our ancient ancestors.